guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm starting with a full face, except for my contour blush and of course the eyeshadow look and lips. And so today I'm going to go with my Stila Contour Duo in the shade Light and I'm just going to apply that with a small concealer brush onto the areas that I'm going to contour. To blend this in, I'm going to spritz my brush with MAC Fix Plus and I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to do this. You already know that I love this product if you watch any of my previous videos because it blends so easily and I love the finish that it gives. Of course, cream contouring does take a little bit longer but it's so worth it because since it is cream, it looks a lot more natural on the skin. I'm also going to take no additional product on the brush and just run it down the sides of my nose to contour my nose a little bit. And then using my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Kit, I'm going to go back over those areas that I contoured to set them with a powder. For blush today, I'm going to go with the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amour and just apply that to the apples in my cheeks and the tip of my nose. And then as a highlight today, I'm going to use ColourPop Lunch Money as a base. And then I'm going to go back over it with Champagne Pop a little bit later on just to intensify it a little bit more. But I'm just going to apply that with my finger onto the high points of my cheeks. And now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using the Oh So Famous Morphe 35O palette. I know it was just in stock not too long ago, but it might already be sold out again because it's so, so beautiful. So since these shades are not named, I'm just going to point to them as I go, but as a transition, I'm going to go with the Peachy Highlight Shade from the Shade Light Contour Kit. And then next, I'm going to take that burnt, like yellowish shade, it's very similar to MAC Uninterrupted, and just start working that into my crease. And I'm really going to build on this color, and I'll be using my Sigma E40. The next shade that I'm going to go in with is a like burnt orangish red. And again, using my Sigma E40, I'm really going to build that color. Just to make sure that everything is super blended, I'm going to blend back and forth with windshield wiper motions. Now to deepen up the outer V, I'm going to go with my Sigma E25 and take these two dark brown shades at the bottom. Unless I'm doing a really natural look, then this is always a step that I do just because it really emphasizes my outer V since my eyelids are basically flat. So if you have hooded lids like I do or very flat lids, then I would definitely recommend this because it changes the whole entire look and I love it. So now going back in with my Sigma E40, I'm just going to make sure that everything is blended. And then taking a pencil brush, I'm going to go back in with that reddish brown shade and the two brown shades at the bottom and just run that underneath my lower lash line. This is just going to tie everything together. Now I'm going to bronze up my forehead just a little bit more using my Ticket to Brazil bronzer from Wet n Wild. And then going in with Champagne Pop, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones a little bit more. And now for my lid color, I'm going to take the shade Lovely from ColourPop and just apply that onto my lid with my finger. This is my favorite shade from ColourPop because it's so pretty. And there are plenty of shades in the 35O to use as lid colors that are really shimmery and pretty, but I just wanted to use this one. And then now I applied my mascara and eyeliner off camera and then I'm going to go back in with those same two brown shades from the palette and apply those into my outer V again to add more depth. And when I'm satisfied with the color, I'm going to finish off my lips. And I'm going to take the shade Androgyny from Jeffree Star. This color is so pretty and so popular that it sold out so quickly. But it is coming back next month in his permanent line. This is my absolute favorite formulation of liquid lipsticks. It's so comfortable and it lasts so well. Always, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this to my lips and just work that around. And then that will complete this makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!